Hi friends, Benita from Knitting in the Mitten. And um, I have reached the point in my Camino Bubbles where I um, am finding more joy in the idea of being done with it than I am in the knitting of it. And I knit because it's relaxing and it brings me peace and calm and joy. And if it's not doing that anymore, it's time to wrap it up. So I've been having a really hard time finding in the pattern or anywhere online where it tells me how long this thing is supposed to be. It talks about how long the sample is, but this isn't a sample. This is the real deal. So somewhere in my mind, I have that it was supposed to be about 60 inches long. And we're at about 56, I think. And when I block it, I have a pretty good idea it's going to get quite a bit bigger. So maybe it's going to be way longer than I want it to be, but that's better than being too short. So um, now that I have made the decision to finish this thing up, which makes me very happy, um, I only have to um, do this 23 stitch repeat um, one more time because I am two rows into that. So... 21 rows to go and then there's another repeat I have to do for the edging and then I'll be done so I can't wait to block it and see what it looks like finished and then I just hope I have an opportunity to wear it someday I only I think I only dropped one stitch I wasn't supposed to drop because there's lots of stitches you you are supposed to drop so I need to catch it with some yarn that is the right color and tack it down. Well, my neighbors and I were still trading food. Um, my neighbor Teresa brought me some kind of ground cherry pie and butternut squash pie. So I can't wait to try them. And it just so happened that I had just taken a loaf of bread out of the oven so I gave her half my loaf of bread. So um, that worked out well for everybody. So I still have half a loaf and um, it's good to have neighbors. I think part of the problem was when I realized I did all the yarn overs backwards, then um, I kind of lost my momentum. But um, good thing I'm close to the end anyway. I still have lots of carrots in the garden and they're going to stay there for a while till it gets too snowy or I eat them all. Um, I still had butternut squash in the freezer from last year so I cut that up and I'm making uh, butternut carrot soup from Better Homes and Gardens. So um, right now it is getting ready to simmer and then I will blend it up with the hand um, mixer and see what that tastes like. So the soup is pretty good. It was easy. I had also used a couple leeks that I had in the fridge, so that's awesome. And it's perfect with the pumpkin biscuit that I made earlier in the week, so it's a yummy lunch today. In case you're wondering, yes, we are still getting deliveries from the farm. Um, produce deliveries every two weeks. They deliver to my house for about one, two, three, four, about five households now. Um, but while waiting for them to come today, I did find a few things in the garden yet. Some kale and some carrots. So still, the garden is still producing a little bit. We haven't had snow yet like some of you have. But um, it'll be coming before too long, I'm sure.